My name is Peter Steele, and I do nothing. I am a kind, wonderful human being, sees the value in all life, lover of all living things, typical Christian, hypocristian. Did they catch you, Peter? Yeah. How would I like to die? It wouldn't really matter so long as I felt I made a difference in the world. of years ago after we got a very bad news and it was the news of a dear friend of us who passed away and that was Peter Steele of Type A Negative. I know, been in here, you guys are familiar with Type A Negative music. They were a huge influence on us and when we got the chance to tour with them we found out that they were not only amazing musicians but they were great people so when we got this bad news it was really, it was really hard on us so we decided what? Yeah. Rest in peace, Peter! Fuck yeah. Rest in peace, Peter. Rest in peace, Paul. Rest in peace, Dio. Rest in peace, Rev. So many friends, unfortunately, are gone. And I know that you guys might have lost somebody in your life. Somebody from your family. Some friends. Some people that was really close to you that is not here anymore with their buddies. But they're for sure they're around here and they're looking at you guys right now. Right now. So we decided to remember our people with this next song, and with the song, we're gonna say goodbye. Um, I will never forget the day that Peter Steele died. I can remember waking up in the morning and I had about six or seven text messages from my best friend Amy. She helps with the Peter Steele, uh, Church of Steele page. Um, she, she was just so distraught. Like I, I didn't, I couldn't comprehend what was going on at first. Like she just kept saying, I don't know what to do. Like my, my whole world has shattered and so on and so forth until I read the words Peter Steele passed away that's when I knew the, the red flag had gone up because he he was everything to her like when when I was a kid I knew who type of negative were but I wasn't really allowed to listen to their music unless it was like you heard it on the radio basically and you never heard type of negative on the radio back in the 90s unless you were you knew the right kind of stations. We didn't get that many good uh, rock and roll stations, even now in uh, Philadelphia, so you, you got what you can find, basically. But I 
I got back into them after I met Amy and became best friends and just basically told me that Peter Steele was like the love of her life basically. He, he made her just have faith in life and in love and just made everything better for her basically. And when I, when I had heard that he had died and then I had to verify because sometimes, you know, rumors can be spread and you have to make sure if they're true or not. So I went online, it was basically everywhere, they even said it on that metal show. And, uh, I couldn't believe he was gone. Like, I had just gotten back into this band, and he was already gone so soon. So, back to the text messages. After I got those, I said, I'm coming over right now. Because when you have a best friend, and something like that happens, whether it's family, friends, or just somebody they looked up to since they were a kid, like her with Peter, that's the red flag. You gotta go make sure they're okay. And her then fiance Sean, you might have met him at the Peter Steele picnic a couple of years ago when me and Amy went. Uh, and our friend Kelly Muse is with us. Hi, Kelly. Uh, on the way there, uh, he came to pick me up, and I said, "How's she doing? Is she okay?" He's like, "I, I don't know what to do anymore. Nothing I say is comforting her. Maybe you know what to do. I'm at a loss." And when I got there, I, I went right to her bedroom, and she was just sitting on the bed crying. And it, really wasn't helping that she was not just playing typo negative cardboard fallout but she was watching the typo negative dvds and i said you can't keep doing this to yourself it's just, you're just going to make it worse like i know you want to reminisce right now but the, the wound is fresh you, you gotta just give yourself time away from this and then when you feel comfortable you can go back to it she didn't want to do that and she kept looking up every music video she could find that had Peter Steele in any interviews, and I, I was with her for like a couple days, I think. Like I know I slept over that night just to make sure she was going to be okay, because that's what best friends do. And she, thankfully, she was, and I, I was helping to talk her down and say, you know, like people come and go, like nobody's gonna live forever. He did go. Uh, way too soon. I, I feel I, I'm probably not the only one that feels he went too soon, but it, it was it was such a big loss for her because she felt like her and Peter were like one and the same. And I know a lot of people out there feel that way with uh, musicians or uh, artists, any anything that you you have like your heart and soul into. Um, I know there's. YouTubers out there that, um, like, you, you kind of feel in sync with, that was her with Peter. Like, the, their hearts were almost one and the same, basically. And just anything he said and did just ma made her feel great, like, she made her giggle, it just made her day so much better. And to lose that part of her life just, it, it shattered her for a time. And, um, I remember, uh, when... Uh, she met Kathy, Peter's sister, such a loving woman, and she really wanted me to meet Kathy, and the, the first time we tried to go to New York, and I ended up getting sick during the summer, and I, I couldn't go, and then the next time was when uh, they found, the first time they had the picnic, and I just remember saying hi, and she was like, this is you, this is the girl she keeps talking about, and she gave me like one of the best hugs I had ever gotten in my life. And I just got so emotional, I was trying not to cry. <laughs> and I met, uh, I met Marie, his, his wonderful niece, uh, and uh, his, his sister Pat. And all, all the fans that actually came out, there were fans that came from like many states over just for this picnic uh, under Peter's tree that uh, had bloomed so beautifully uh, during the summer. It's, it was just amazing to see such a beautiful thing uh, just come to light. Like, you never really see that with any metal musicians. Like, almost like they're not important enough. But any musician is to me. Like, if you put your heart and soul into what you do, you are important. And it, it was just amazing to see not just a tree come out of it, but we got a bench that has Peter's name on it. and. I, I think the family couldn't have been any more grateful. Just, I, I think they were just amazed that so many people came together for 
this this one guy that meant so much to so many people and that that's why I wanted to do this video to show it that it has been a, around five years now since he passed but all of us have done so many great things in his memory within the past five years that I really wanted to show uh, not just the people on the Church of Steel page but everyone everyone around the world uh, just what it is exactly everyone has done to commemorate Peter's memory. Uh, maybe it's through a tattoo, maybe it's through um, music, whether it be like a cover of a typo negative, a carnivore, or a uh, fallout, anything Peter might have contributed to, um, or even a song about Peter and his memory. I just want to thank everybody out there who has contributed to this video right now and I, I really hope you enjoy what I put together. This was a really long time coming. I've actually had this planned since last year. I just uh, I didn't have the time to really uh, get any news about it out just yet. I was still perfecting certain things and making sure I, I could find pictures of not just the tree and, and the bench but just some like really happy memories basically. So I hope you enjoy this video. Stay negative, everyone. He used to pick me up sideways, and, and like, you know, he was so big, you know, like six, what was he, 6'10 or something like that? 6'8 or whatever, and he picked me up sideways to, to sing into the mic, you know. I was a big carnivore fan back in the day. And, uh, you know, a typo, they, brilliant band. And Peter was just the nicest guy on the planet. The biggest. Biggest heart I think I've ever met, besides Don, you know, for sure.
Everything dies. 